What did you think about as you drove along? What did you? My boyhood. Ploughing, fencing, ring barking. All for nothing. Liked a few months in a little bark hut with a teacher who couldn't spell. A craving or ambition tortured my soul. I still don't know what for. Something better and brighter, anyhow. What I thought about was the homes I've lived in. You mean the proper homes? Not the huts and encampments you've seen with me. I've noticed lately we've got out of the habit of talking to each other. Does it irritate you? Yes. Me too. But it won't last long. I'll make life better for us by and by. We'll be sweethearts again when things brighten up a bit. Milk old spot. Ah. Oh. You'll be late for your own funeral. Come on. Help me water these horses and then we'll get the food. Is it, Mary? Haven't you got everything you wanted? You've had your own way. What's the matter with you now? You know very well, Joe. But I don't know. Look here, Mary. Don't go on like that. Tell me what's the matter. It's only this. I can't stand this life here. It'll kill me. Stand. You know very well that it was you that dragged me out here. 
You run me onto this. Why weren't you content to stay in Golgong? What sort of a place was Golgong, Joe? Well, why wouldn't you come to Sydney as I wanted you, you to? You know very well, Joe. Look, Mary. It would have been different this time. You would have been with me. I can take a glass now or leave it alone. As long as you take a glass, there is danger. Well, what did you want to advise me to come out here for if you can't stand it? Why wouldn't you stay where you were? Well, why weren't you more decided? Good God! This is more than any man can stand! I'll chuck it all in. I'm damn well sick and tired of the whole thing. So am I, Joe. What are you doing? Joe, if there is one thing about me, it's that I know when I'm not wanted. So I'll take them in. If I don't make a stand now, I'll never be master. I gave up the reins when I got married, and I have to have them back again. The trouble is, you won't ever give in. Nor even go halfway to make it up. It's all the way or nothing with your nature. I have the energy of half a dozen men if I see the road clear before me. Then you shite the first check. I have dreams and ambitions, Mary. And well you know it. Are they what brought us here? Oh, you tell her. You're a brother, you tell her. It's a good selection, Mary. You never said not to come here. So if you ask me, it's all your fault. I'm not giving, Mary. I'm not giving to it. Tell you to water them geraniums? Well, didn't I? Don't tell lies or I'll break your young back. I did, I tell you. The water won't soak into the ashes. You. <laughs> you, Tommy! <laughs> yes. Didn't I tell you to ride up to them new people and see if they wanted any meat or anything? I, uh, I. I, I can't find the horse. Well, find it first thing in the morning. And don't forget to tell Mrs. Wilson. Mother will be up as soon as she can. Girlie, I'm sorry. I walked to Mrs. Spicer's selection. I, I thought I'd see if she had any fresh meat and... No. No. Uh, she's... Um, she's... She's gaunt and haggard, is Mrs. Spicer, and... And the thought came to me, and it was... It was like a whiplash to my heart that... She's what you'll become if I leave you here. I'm... No. Right. Look here, girl. Here. We'll leave this wretched life. We'll leave this bush forever. We'll sell the wagon and horses and. 